Okay, so this is going to be uh, how to make your uh, slave robot. And what I did was I created a uh, new program and named it Slave because that's what our bot's going to be is a slave. It's going to do whatever we tell it to do. And I'm going to need some blocks. Um, the first block that I want to go on and get is a motor block. And I'm not going to connect it over here yet. I'm just going to put it over here. And uh, that's going to be A, the direction's going to be forward, and unlimited. So basically, you don't even have to do anything to this. Uh, the next block I'm going to need is I'm going to need a compare block. And again, I'm going to throw it over here for now, because we're going to have to put this inside some loops and all kinds of stuff. Um, then I'm going to need a receive Bluetooth message block. Uh, and it's going to be set to receive a number compared to one. And if we think back to our uh, remote control program, A, motor A is uh, mailbox number one, and C was mailbox number two. So uh, now we're going to need a couple of loops loop there and we're going to do something strange we're going to put a loop inside of a loop and what we're going to do is we're going to take our receive bluetooth message and put it right in there and the reason is what we want it to do is we want it to be constantly listening for a message and then if it happens to get the message then it goes outside the loop performs some actions and when it gets done with those actions it's going to go all the way back to the beginning and start checking for bluetooth messages again finds a message it goes out of the loop goes to the next blocks then it gets over here and says oh i got to do it again and then it goes back it's a constant loop uh the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag our compare block and put our compare block right there and we're going to put our motor block right there. So this is the way it's set up. And uh, let's see. I'm going to need this drop down here. And we're going to need the drop down here as well because we're going to be doing some connecting. Okay. And the first change that we're going to make, you need to click right here on uh, this block. And the control is going to be logic. Okay. So logic is true or false. That, that doesn't, you don't need to worry about that. So uh, we're going to connect Bluetooth message received up here to that one right there. So if there's a Bluetooth message received, then we're going to go over here and do some other stuff. Okay, next thing, we're going to connect number out. So it's going to take this number that it receives from our remote control. Take this number, and we're going to put it right up here and connect it to the A block. And on this little uh, compare block here, we want to set this to greater than zero. So you don't even have to just change this to greater than, and it should be set. So the reason we're doing this is when it receives this number, uh, we want it to compare it to zero. If it's greater than zero, we want it to go forward. So if it's less than zero, though, we want it to go backwards, and that's why we've got to do this. So if the message, if it, when it compares it, if it's less than zero, it's going to go back, it's more than zero, it's going to go forward. And then uh, we're going to drag this line here. So this number here, whatever this number is, is going to determine our power level on this motor. Like that. And then we need to connect this thing right here, the result, whether or not it's greater than or less than. And we're going to come up here and connect it to click. That's not let me click direction. All right. So uh, the letter, the number that comes in, 
determines how powerful this motor is. So like what percentage? Zero to 100 controls your speed, I should say. And then the true false, if it's greater than zero, you go forward. It controls your direction. If it's false and less than zero, it goes backwards. And if that made sense to you, great, because I understand about 90% of it. Uh, if it didn't make sense to you, just do what's on here, and it should still work as long as you do all your settings. So I'm going to go through here real quick and just double check all this. Greater than zero. Yep. All right. Uh, that looks good. Now we need to do the other motor. And the good news is, is that this one's really easy. I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to draw a box around all this. Then I'm going to copy and paste and move this down here like so. Then I need to connect these two like that. All right, now we got power down there. Uh, and there is a couple things we need to change. I'm going to grab my hand here so I can move this down. Switch back to my cursor. Okay, so uh, this is going to be mailbox number two. It's the first change, mailbox number two. And then that's still going to be the same. But over here, this is not going to be A. This is going to be C. Everything else stays the same. So those two changes change this mailbox to number two. This one to letter C. Everything else is the same. Now come down here, hit this button to uh, send it to your battle bot. So unplug your remote if it's still plugged in. Plug in your battle bot. Hit download. And now you should be just about ready to control your robot.